Welcome back to the last room of the Web Fundamentals Pathway. If you have been following the Web Fundamentals Pathway room by room in my videos, uh, by this video or by the end of this video, we will have completed the Web Fundamentals Pathway from Try Hack Me. This room is a machine where you will go through the typical basic steps of conducting a pen testing to gain remote access on the machine. And there is a walkthrough uh, by Try Hack Me. You can also take a look at the walkthrough. But we will uh, go over the tasks and answer the questions. And while answer the questions, we're going to go over the typical uh, process of pen testing. So, first thing we would do all the time is conducting an Nmap scan. So, as you can see here, we use the uh, switch SV to scan the versions, services under versions, using Nmap scripting engines, and also opt for aggressive scan. As you can see, we have FTP port or FTP service, and we have SSH, we have port 80 open, and that's it. If you go to um, the main page of the Avengers blog, you will see a typical page where there are uh, the Avengers displaying their comments. You can also read through the comments and have fun. Uh, so basically, let's go over the questions and see what is required. So the first one, on the deployed Avengers machine you recently deployed, get the flag one cookie value. So basically it is as if uh, it's asking us what is the cookie value. So basically to view the cookies we have to press F12, open the developer console, go to cookie editor and here you will see the cookie. The cookie value happens to be the flag value, which is cookie secrets. Okay, easy. Hey, HTTP headers. Now the question is, look at the hey HTTP response headers and obtain flag too. To obtain the flag, you will have to uh, stay within the uh, developer console, go to network and reload the page. <coughs> to view the get request in real time, if you look at the first GET request sent from your browser to the server, you will see that in the response headers here, uh, the flag value is headers are important. So let's copy that and answer with it. Okay, next step, enumeration and FTP. Look around the FTP share and read flag three. And here it's saying that we will be asked for a username, jroot, groot, and a password, I am groot. We should have now successfully logged into the FTP share using groot's credentials. So you're given the credentials. And if you get back to the Nmap scan, you see there's indeed uh, an FTP server open or FTP server running. So we will log into that FTP server with the given credentials FTP. Now the credentials are G root and I am G root. Just making sure that there are no uppercase letters. So all lowercase. So logged in successfully. So let's see now LS. So we have um, files directory. Let's explore that directory by issuing CD files and ls to display the contents of that directory and as you can see we have flag 3 so we get that flag 3 file and we exit get flag 3 and this is a flag so far it's pretty much easy to complete the challenge 
So next task, next 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 task, go Buster. What is the directory that has an Avengers login? So here we go through the process of enumerating the web directories. Enumerating web directories is um, a process that you go through when you conduct a pen testing, especially when there is a web server running. So we issue, we use GoBuster or directory search to find out what are the hidden files and directories that would aid in the process of pen testing. So we issue sudo GoBuster. So here is the command. I'm going to change only the IP of the machine. So there you go, the IP. All right. So first we're trying with this word list. See, we have home, image, assets, portal. What is the question? What is the directory that has an Avengers login? So, the word here is pretty descriptive of the nature of the page, right? Portal means that there is something there that, re that requires a login. So, let's get that. And indeed, we are presented with a login screen. So, let's stop the search because we have found what we were looking for. And um, we go back, we type slash portal. Next is SQL injection or SQL injection. Log in or log into the Avengers site. View the page source. How many lines of code are there here? So here, the uh, the challenge is making things easy for you to exploit the portal. So basically, it's telling you that there is a, an SQL injection vulnerability in the login form. You have to exploit that SQL injection and get access to the page or the portal and view the page source. Normally, we would exploit SQL injection using perp suit or sql map but first before trying the automated tools we would first try some manual payloads to see if one of them works so that we save our time so let's try with something like code or one equal one let's try into both username and password field sign in and indeed it worked so the site is vulnerable to SQL injection. Now we got access to the page. Let's view the page source and see how many lines of code are there. You see here we have, if we scroll down, you can see the number of lines are or is 223 or 223. Let's try this number. Yes. Lastly, remote code execution and Linux. So basically here, the question is, read the contents of flag 5.txt. But before reading that, let's go through the intro. So you should be logged into the Jarvis access panel. Here we can execute commands on the machine. I wonder if we can exploit this to read files on the system. Try executing the ls command to list all the files in the current directory. Now trying to try joining two Linux commands together to list files into parent directory cd ls cd and then you have semicolon ls doing so will show a file called flag we can add another command to read this file cd ls cat this command is this allowed we will have to think of another linux command week so we can read it so here is basically you have uh, a portal page, all right, and the portal page has an application that connects your input and executes the input on the system. So if you type ls, for example, as suggested by the tutorial, and enter, you see we actually uh, 
can read the contents of the current working directory. If we type id, command is disallowed. So some commands are disallowed. If we try nc, net cut, also net cut is disallowed. So there is a filter uh, that uh, actually looks into your commands and you know filters your commands according to a specified or predetermined rule if your commands uh, are within the whitelist that is set by the application then your commands will be executed if your commands are not in the whitelist or the black or they are in the blacklist uh, you will get command disallowed so let's get back and see here the challenge so as you can see if we take this one see here the command is disallowed again so here we are cd'ing back let's try only cd okay ls still we have the same files So technically, the flag file does exist in the parent directory, and when we issue cd only to cd to that directory and ls the files or ls the contents, uh, as you can see, we still can't see the actual flag file. So we have to find a way to get around this. Basically, we can do something uh, called reverse. If you go to, so here if you type rev command. REV So we can we can use this command actually see if it's allowed let's type REV first Okay. As you can see, rep command in Linux is used to reverse the lines character wise. So, what we can do actually, we can use this one to bypass the restrictions. So, if we type rev uh, home, well, actually, we have first to define what is in the what is the user on the uh, directory. So see here, what is the user there? That's also another challenge. ls home, can I do that? Yeah, as you can see, we have two users, groot and ubuntu. So the flag is definitely in one of these. Let's try ubuntu. Actually, as you can see, the flag is here. If we try cat, command is disallowed so you can't read the contents of the flag because cat command is disallowed back to ls we have the flag 5.txt what we can do here we can use rev rev so rev slash flag 5 and then we pipe to rev again as you can see the flag is here Another way to do that is let's get back and we use while loops. So see if while loops are allowed. While read line do echo line done and we pipe home you want to flag 5.txt. So we read them line by line, right? As you can see, we put we put the uh, flag file right to a while loop to read it line by line. What's gonna happen now? I think I have to type ls and then again the while loop.
and as you can see the results are here so let's assume that you don't know or or you don't know how to use the while loops and you don't know about the rdv command there's actually another way out to solve the challenge you can just establish a reversal to your machine so if i go to my notes and i grab one reversal net cut paste it back make sure to escape the characters because rm is not allowed net cut is not allowed so you have to put backslash between the characters uh cat one we could put one backslash here one backslash goes here and also we can also we can we have here one backslash the port is 4545 and this is my ip command is allowed still we get the command is allowed i think we hit we didn't escape something. Let's get back. So here we have, I think we have mixed some characters. Let's get back to see the IP and 24. One space here. Enter. Let's refresh the page. Command disallowed. Let's go line by line. RM temp slash F make we don't have temp. The cat is escaped. Oh, SH. One goes here. Dash I two. We escaped net cut. Let's um, also remove this one. Yeah, it worked. So we have received one reversal ID. You are the root user. LS. Go to home. See the Ubuntu. cat flag 5 so this is another way to get the flag just a regular reversal all you have to do is just to escape the uh, comments that are not allowed netcat not allowed sh not allowed rm and cat escape them when one backslash between every letter and execute that reversal and you will get the, uh, the connection back Eventually, you will be able to see the flag without the need to uh, use REV or while loops. Although it's recommended you know how to use these tools. So, that's it for this video. I hope you find that helpful. And let's go again to the pathway. So, what fundamentals is 98% complete. I know we have one room called Django, intro to Django. I'm going to leave that to you. And by far, or so far, we have finished four pathways. Defense, Cyber Defense, CompTIA Pen Test Plus, Web Fundamentals, and Offensive Pen Testing. If you want to see the walkthrough of all these challenges, you can step to the playlist of my channel and um, go through the videos. What is left? We have Complete Beginner, and we got also Pre-Security. I'm going to go through Complete Beginner in the next videos see what we can accomplish by going through the rooms so that's it for today and see you in the next video